Hello and welcome back to Northwest Models TV and today I'm going to show you how to put together this simple little 009 water tower kit from Unit Models. So let's dive into the box and have a look. So first things first, let's actually see what we have in the box itself. So we've got a number of components, a smaller bag of parts and some instructions as well. So I'll have a quick scan through the instructions and then we can have a look at how it goes together. So it seems a very simple little kit to put together and luckily the instructions are really very clear as well. Um, the, it is going to need a little bit of cleaning up because uh, the parts are generally cast in resin. Um, and there's a little bit of drilling involved as well um, but on the whole it looks like a very simple kit to put together so I'll clean up the parts and then we can have a look at how it actually goes together all right I've now got all the parts to begin with um, all cleaned up and all I've used is a craft knife to get rid of any flash and uh, then just a bit of emery paper to just finish them off and give them a bit of a key so <clears throat> To put this together, I'm going to use the Deluxe Materials Rocket Rapid Super Glue. Um, it's ideal for uh, resin kits like this because it will grab pretty much anything, uh, and this type actually gives you a little bit of play as well. Um, you know, timing-wise, it's not an in, an instant grab. Um, and as the areas are quite large that we're going to be putting together, I'm actually just going to use it straight out of the bottle. Um, Obviously, if it was a bit of a smaller area, I'd probably set a little bit out to use um, with like a pin or something. So, start with the base. As you've just seen, I've just glued the top, and then I'm just going to use, put the tank on that, just making sure it's in line with the base, and it should form quite nicely on there. Now the top of the tank at the moment is open, hence I can put my finger in and just add a little bit of pressure on there to help hold it in place, help it grab. And that is, as you can see, already on there, so quite quick and simple. Now the next part is to put the, the lid of the tank on. And uh, on one side, uh, you might be able to see there, is a lever moulding arch type thing um, for where the lever uh, to operate the tank would go into or will be going into uh, and it says in the instructions for that to be fitted towards the front of the water tower so on the tower itself um, there is a square hole which you should be able to see there where the filler um, trough will come out of a bit later um, so you want that moulding on the to, to basically on the top to line up with that mark uh, that with the uh, the hole there. So again, I'm just going to quickly put a little bit of glue around there just to hold it. Make sure I've got it the right way around, and then plonk the lid on top. Obviously, try and make sure you get it fairly square and in line with everything else. And again, just add a little bit of pressure and it should be okay. Now, one of the things it does say in the instructions is it doesn't include any method of filling the tank um, because, in reality, they either will have been filled from a passing stream or they will have been mains supplied uh, so you could have a pipe going up the outside and looping over and into the top. Um, you can have it that way if you wanted, um, but I'm just going to build this up as it is uh, in, in the in the kit. So the next part, whilst I put that to one side to dry, is to deal with the two parts which are on this piece of card. We've got a piece of brass rod and we've got a very small piece of thin plastic card. Now, with the plastic card, it is suggesting to drill a hole approximately 0.5 uh, 
um, close to one end of the operating lever, which is that small plastic hard piece. <coughs> um, and then we form brass rod into a handle shape at the bottom with a small right angle at the top to operate the lever. Um, it is basically just following the instructions with this um, and you should get it uh, pretty good. So I'm just going to go see if I can find a 0.5mm drill uh, and we can then have a look at getting it uh, made up. Well. As luck would have it, I do have to have a 0.5mm drill bit, which I've put into my Archimedes drill. Um, so, it doesn't specifically say where on the operator lever, apart from towards the end. Now, whilst it's still attached to the piece of card by the sticky tape, I'm just going to use a piece, spare piece of scrap foam board uh, to drill into, just so I don't have, end up with a drill uh, hole in my cutting mat. And I'm just very carefully just going to drill that out. As you can see it's gone through quite happily there. And because it's a thin piece of plastic card that's you know fairly easy to do. And obviously using the foam board scrap there has just saved um, my cutting mat which is a bit scruffy but it still does the job. So the next job is going to be to form the brass rod into a handle with a handle shape at one end and a hook at the other to go through there. So I'm just going to use some little pliers for this and all I'm going to do is just bend it around in a little basically just trying to make a little loop with it which you may or may not be able to see there. There's like a little loop there to act as the handle and then for the other end I'm just gonna bend in around once and then twice to bend it over. So we've now got a hook at the other end and a handle bit on it on the, th the well the other end. So we now need to thread the lever or the brass rod onto our little lever, being careful not to snap the end off as we thread it around. Get rid of that. So hopefully now you can see we've got a little lever there ready to go on. So the end of this plastic card lever now needs to go into that front moulding piece on our water tank and we're just going to glue that in place. So that will go in there like that and have the brass rod just dangling down at the front there. So let's do that. shouldn't take too long to set um, and we're very nearly done with this build. Now obviously this kit is designed for the 00, a 009 gauge market so for a little narrow gauge uh, layouts and things um, but it's actually based on one of the water columns on the Talith Lynn uh, railway in North Wales so those who are modelling North Wales, this is uh, an ideal little kit. So I'll just pause the video a minute just while I let this dry and then we'll come back to the finish. Right, so as we can see our column is coming together quite nicely. So the last piece to put on is the actual water trough to direct the, um, the water from the water tower to the locomotive. Now it says in the instructions that this can be positioned uh, well in the tank or can be positioned uh, further out. It's entirely up to you how far in or out you position it um, and obviously that may depend on how far away 
your water tower is going to be to your tracks uh, for your locos. Um, and obviously if you are going to be having locos running past you need to make sure that this doesn't stick out too far and the locos end up hitting it uh, going past. So it's entirely up to you but all it does is just slot in the um, that little square section um, in the tower and, and that is it. And you can, Obviously you just need to glue it in place so I'm just going to do that and that is essentially going to be the kit built. Just a glue on, and I can say I'll just push that in there. I'm going to settle it out about about there somewhere, so it doesn't look too far out of place. Uh, and that is the water tower uh, all built. All it needs now is a coat of paint. So there we are, that's how to put together that beautiful little uh, water tower kit from Unit Models. Um, it's a nice simple kit, um, nice easy to build because there's not many parts to it, the only fiddly bit is the operating lever uh, on the top there. Uh, other than that, all that needs now, like I say, is a coat of paint. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and do make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you do hit that subscribe button as well because that does help us out. And until next time. Happy modeling.